71% possession, lads. This is what we do against guys like this, man, playing meta, meta. What's the crack, lads? We are back with a Xabi Alonso review. A new manager, obviously fresh off winning the Bundesliga. Alonso is probably the new meta now. We're going to show you why. We're going to also show you a couple of gameplay clips. He's available for 500 coins. He plays quick counter and he gives the max boost to your player stats in game. Plus a plus one to acceleration, which is always nice as well when you're training cards. We're going to show you how it mixes up the meta a little bit, but while it still remains the same. But we're going to show you a special way of playing with Alonso that you can dominate with. We'll kind of feature that in a second video as well. But first, we are going to do a review of Alonso. Let's go. I think the big question is if you're getting Xabi Alonso. I know it's only 500 coins. If you are used to spinning, you've no problem with saving up 500 coins. It's quite easy to save that up, even as a free-to-play player. Do you need to replace him if you have 10 Hag? Well, a lot of top rank are now using Xabi Alonso for what he is... Uh, going forward, what he can create going forward, plus given the max proficiency boost for a quick counter formation. So we're going to actually show you two games that we played here, right? We played against two guys. We're going to show you clips from the first game, and then the second one is going to feature into a new How to Beat Meta style video. This is just an Alonso review, but a lot of these clips will make it into that video as well as kind of a continuation while both being standalone. You're going to notice something very, 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 very simple here that this opponent is doing. Notice in the first five minutes how often he is calling teammate press, right? This is where I think Xabi Alonso is a fantastic manager. If you're able to link what he's good at with the AI, which is his positioning, the quick counter, the movement of quick counter and how the AI actually reacts to quick counter, mixed in with a bit of possession and a bit of patience and a bit of frustrating your opponent. When I talk about holding possession and frustrating your opponent, I'm not talking about playing with five at the back I'm not talking about keeping the ball in negative passing spaces, like such as in your own half. Anyone can boost possession that way. You need to be progressive and you need to be able to push your opponent back while still retaining possession and not getting caught in the counter. This guy is going to be driven mad by the fact that he wants me to enter a game of cat and mouse with him. He doesn't want me dribbling. He doesn't want me sitting on the ball. And you saw his rank at the start of the game. It's nothing got to do with the opponent or his skill level. He's a top division one guy. He's top a thousand in the world. He's obviously gone on a couple of win streaks. He knows how to play the game. He knows what works. He knows what is able to be used effectively in the game. Teammate press, not manual defending, letting his, the AI cover his gaps for him. Very aggressive, very, 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 very aggressive in trying to get the ball back while also on the ball. Very little possession. You'll see here how many times he intercepts the ball. We're just going to let this run and kind of show you the flow of where the gameplay is at at the moment. You'll see a lot of AI assistance. You'll see a lot of teammate presses. You'll see a lot of shoot on site. You'll see knock-ons. You'll see tap-backs. You'll see a lot of stuff that a lot of the top-ranked guys do and are used to doing to win. So when you actually hold the ball, it kind of brings them into a sense of they need to rush to chase the ball because they're probably used to playing guys that when they see Xabi Alonso, it's kind of a double bluff. And I'm going to show you the setup in a second of why this guy is probably finding such difficulty in tracking my players and confusing the AI, which is a lot of stuff um, that you need to be doing at the top rank. And a lot of people don't talk about it. You know, a lot of people will just be able to go on a win streak playing very meta style with a lot of tap backs, you know, sweat across the box, which is fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do and you want to push rank, you have to play what the game rewards if you want to push rank. Um, but there is more than one ways to play this game. And you can see that this guy here, he's not having any attention paid or paying any attention to the spaces that I'm running into. And eventually I'm going to get a very lucky goal um, to kind of open this tie. But look how much I'm taking out of the ball. I'm not passing it back to the keeper and time wasting and, you know, being a rat or anything like that. I'm literally being progressive, holding it in really good areas of the pitch that he needs to chase and he needs to break me down if he's going to get the ball back. Now this setup that we have here is going to be half the battle. The next one and the more important part of this formation is going to be my sub tactic. So you will see here that we've got a very solid tree at the back. We're kind of emulating a bit of wit while still having defense with Arnold and our two central figures up front. It doesn't really matter who you have up here, but attacking midfielder and CF, these need to be interchangeable. So whether it's Baggio, whether it's Messi, whether it's whoever you want up there, Figo, it doesn't really matter. Once somebody, Rafael Leao or Neymar, once somebody can play SS or AMF, or both, that is what you need to do. Now, we've also thrown defensive on right card. You can pop in anybody you want here. This is simply for the double pivot is fine with Stevie G as a defensive builder, anyone that you had there, Ambersini, Petit, 
uh, anybody, destroyer, whatever. But this is the main crux of what we're trying to do with this. And this is what can cause confusion for a lot of guys that are usually top rank, that are usually used to bulldoze an opponents by scoring a lot of goals and being very aggressive that you literally don't have a second on the ball. So what we've done here is we've mixed Messi uh, out wide, that if we are man-marking, I'm going to do a video on people man-marking centre-forwards. It seems to be very, 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 very heavy at the moment that people are man-marking or tight-marking. This sub-tactic, when I'm flicking it in and flicking it out, Ronaldinho is going to be picking up little pockets of space. Stevie G, you can either pop him up or pop him back. It depends on how effective you are at manually defending. And we're going to be spreading and looking to bring people out to the deep waters with Messi and Figo manually, with overlaps manually from Bergomi and Arnold. Just because you're playing long ball counter or quick counter, it doesn't mean that you can't play possession and mix it. That's skill gap. That's what you need to be able to do. If you're playing quick counter and you learn to use sub tactic, which is holding down on the D-pad to activate it, you can have two formations and two setups within the same, uh, the same setup and tactical uh, setup, okay? So a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people don't use sub-tactic, but a lot of the top rank do it, where they're able to kind of like constrict you, but then also give themselves multiple options. Now we get a lucky goal here. Listen, that's just eFootball. We probably didn't deserve to get that goal, but we're going to beat this guy more than 1-0. We actually got a few dodgy goals in this game. Um, it's just one of these games, as I always say. You know, I could play this guy again in the morning, and he could beat me 5-0. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a little bit crazy at the moment and chaotic, and you guys know from playing that. But we're just blocking everything. We've gone one defensive just to kind of like trigger this guy to come even more aggressive. And when he's 1-0 down here, he's literally just going to come as a home and missile to me. Now, that's when you need to be able to spread the play. You can see here with Messi. That's what I'm talking about. Messi is no longer in the middle. Look where Carlos ends up. This is where you need to have the sub-tactics to really confuse your opponent. It's a horrible save from Schmeichel or lack thereof. But you will see here that at half time with Xabi Alonso, we've got 71% possession. But it's not negative possession because we've had three shots on target. We restricted him to one shot and we've had 49 passes. Most of our passes have been forward or else sideways with, a, with kind of hole in possession. 10 interceptions, three tackles, three crosses. So we're getting a bit of width and we've got a goal from being out wide with Messi, who we brought into this position. Not Trent crossing, Trent is pushed back. We've got Messi manually, artificially moved over there with the sub-tactic. Now, one big key I want to talk about with Xabi Alonso is newcomers beware, because if you have never played with quick counter before and you go in at the deep end, I definitely advise you watch this video um, and pay attention to this part specifically. Or anyone that's been playing long ball counter possession game and is switching to Xabi Alonso because he's an exciting manager to play with. Look how high your line is here with quick counter. This is the big 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 difference between using long ball counter and quick counter and also one of the perks of Jabi Alonso as well is if you look at the stats of Ronaldinho here and you take his acceleration stat and you take his tight possession stat just two very important stats equally for Arnold you've got 94 lofted pass for Messi 97 acceleration 96 balance just look at the difference. We're using Gasparini here, who has got a 80 playstyle proficiency, and we're going to be swapping him out for Xabi Alonso, who's got an 88 playstyle proficiency. The higher the player manager proficiency here that you see, Gasparini's got 80 with quick counter. We're also going to have Xabi Alonso. Watch, he's got 88 team playstyle proficiency with quick counter. The higher this rating is here for the team playstyle proficiency, the bigger the boost you're going to get from your actual player stats in game. So now you can look at Figo. We'll also look at Trent. We'll also look at Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho who and Messi, who had 97 acceleration, now has 99 acceleration each. Tight possessions jumped up to 99. Messi balance gone to 97. Acceleration gone to 99. So that's kind of where you're getting the, the difference, right? Guardiola, the new Guardiola, also has this boost with the 88 team play style proficiency. But obviously he plays possession, which is not as meta, but equally it can be as fun with... 88 playstyle proficiency in possession. We're going to do Guardiola next. But until then, boys, I'll leave you with my final thoughts. Hope to see you guys in the live stream. Hope you enjoyed it. So let's, there you have it. Xabi Alonso, do I rate him with my overall thoughts? For 500 coins, when you look at the comparison between what you get for 500 coins in the game, with comparing it to player packs, I think it's a no-brainer if you're pushing rank or you want to have the best boost for your players, as we showed there. It does make a big difference if you do play possession mixed in with quick counter. There's a couple of limitations... But there's also a lot of pros with Xabi Alonso. He's a very unique, flexible manager. And I do feel that if you mix a lot of your manual positioning with what Quick Counter does when you have the ball, 
you can simply destroy people. Now, next up, we will have Pep. We're going to be playing with him on stream the next few days. But I do feel like that with Xabi Alonso, I definitely think a lot of the top guys are using him now because of that plus one acceleration boost and the max proficiency. While still, using sub-tactic, I think, is the key to getting a, a manager like Xabi Alonso to, to kind of flow for you. So let me know what you thought about this video. We will be back very, very soon. And Pep is up next.